Praise the Lord. I welcome each every one of us in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, even the truth of matter Jesus cares. Our message, Jesus cares. Irrespective of circumstances or situation around you, I want you to be aware that Jesus cares. And Jesus knows those things you are going through. May Almighty God bless you richly, wherever you may follow in or listen to us. May the God also give you understanding for the meeting or for the teaching we are going to look into. By the grace of God, we have the message with us that say ravaging wolves. You know, wolves. What how Jesus Christ describes us about wolves. This wolf is evil and it is not that Jesus is talking about unbeliever. Wolf cannot be unbeliever. Wolf is those ones you trust, you follow, you believe in them. But inside them, they are ravaging wolves. We are going to see it as we, as we progress. May we bow down our head in prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you, God of all glory. I give you all glory, I give you all mercy. To you alone, the honor and the adoration. Lord, I dare Father pray. Lord, you will teach us in our level of understanding in the name of Jesus Christ. May the message bring impact in us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ and bring awareness and illuminate our understanding. In the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ, we pray and amen. God bless you once again. We remember who we are, truth of the matter, Jesus cares. And I want to inform you that Jesus cares. Irrespective of whatever may be around you, Jesus cares. Praise the Lord. So therefore, as we are earlier saying, we have message the topic ravages wolves. And this ravages wolves, I told us initially, is you are pastor, you are reverend father, you are teacher, you are mentor. But they are not what they show. They may present you, may see them holy, holy, but they are devil, they are demonic people. But when they come to Poopy to preach you, when they talk to you, he may think that is Jesus Christ is one they are talking to. He may think that God is talking to. Because sometimes they will start by crying. Sometimes they will start by teaching you all kind of immorality sentences. It will tell you how immorality is, is, is evil sin. To tell you how they say out a lying is evil sin. You know, all those things they will say to gain your heart so that they can be able to deceive you. The deceive may be what they plan to do you in full shot. It may be because they're planning things. It's not that they are in actually interested of your soul. They cry and cry in the poop when they want in their poop it, not because of your soul. It's the cry of the strategy they use to be able to win your heart, to make you to obey what they are saying, to make you to follow what they are saying, to make you to bring out in the time of need, when they will need money. They may need money, they already plan that coming two years, they will have something to do. They will start now and they planting it and watering it in other way. And ignorance people will follow in. Ignorance people will continue to fall in. I say we have them many in our church. I know them. And uh, it pleases the Lord to indeed that we will spot them out. Now, I want to take us to the message, very short message. Although it's so long, but we, we, we will split it even into three. Now, the message says, Be careful, be careful to not fall into the hand of these wolves. Remember, this warning, I'm not the one that warned it. We are going to see all this in the scripture, the Bible. It is Jesus Christ that warning you, be careful to not fall into their hand. 
be very, very careful. And he said, now, I want to say, who is this, who is this wolves? Wolves is hypocrite pastors, hypocrite teachers, deceiver in their means, the, all the leaders that are indeed presenting Jesus Christ, but they are not. They are wolves. You can see that wolf is not for unbeliever. Wolf is Jesus Christ. When he's talking about wolf, he didn't talk about unbeliever. He talked the wolves in the midst of the sheepfold, mean that those that are leading, mean that those that are teaching, is but their teaching, but their teaching is not actually what it's supposed to be. Their teaching is come for their own selfishness, come for their own gain, not because of your soul. The day they will talk to you about soul, they will talk to you about soul, but in our mind, in our world, their heart, in their inner heart, is not actually they want your soul to be saved. It's because they know that is the way they can be able to hold you, and they will make you to see other church as evil churches. Because then we, they, this wolves that Jesus Christ described is a, the, like a, a, a greeting dog. You know, they cannot be able to perform miracle. They cannot be able, even the money they know how. But what they, what they do, any man of God, any person that do miracle, that miracle comes from Satan. Because they cannot do it and then they condemn others. Why? Because they're condemning others. So the from there they gain your heart. From there they hold you captive. And now we will follow them cheaply. As you following them, believing that you have found church, believing that those ones that are talking to you, church, what, listen to me. When we talk about church, church can be a good church, lay the foundation from beginning, but the man that lay the foundation of church, it cannot be in America, be in Africa, be, be in London, and be in New York. And he must plant people there. It's by then devil came in. You will see person that will wear image like that man initially, but he have another race around. And the only time when he's he, he teaching you, he may even refresh you to the man that he foundation, the good man, so that he will say, hey, how he love that man. But actually, he have another thing in the back of his mind. All they feel his mind is only to deceive people. Jesus Christ said, beware of them. Listen, if, you, if you, we cannot be able to be aware, 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 aware of them, Jesus cannot warn you to be careful of them. It's because Jesus knows that if you will, if you love your soul, if you want to escape, you can be able. He said that when you came, First thing is to search to know where you are. Because it's not all that saying Jesus, Jesus, is actually come from Jesus or actually speaking Jesus. Of course, it tells you that Satan is, okay, but let us go to scripture to see before I talk because we are going to cut it and come to next time. Matthew chapter 7 and I read from verses 15. Now, this is Jesus Christ saying. He said, beware of false prophet. I tell you before that it's not unbeliever you're talking. He's talking about your teacher. He's talking about your pastor. That pastor that jumping in your pulpit. That pastor that when he's teaching you immoral something, immorality, sinners, he seems like he has gone to heaven and come. Some of them will tell you that if he didn't follow what he said, he, he will see which evil he will enter. He want, he will see every he will see. So if he, to say that he, he is already guaranteed or for share heavens, so he cannot open the door for you because he didn't follow it. And some people are falling. But however, it is not yet late. If you understand and came, if you re, if you decide to come out of your bondage, if you want to come out of your bondage, you can come out. Jesus cannot tell you be careful where Jesus knows that you cannot make it. So therefore, they must be careful of them. And now we say here, he say where we are reading. He said, Come to you in sheep clothing. They come into you in sheep clothing, but in Wadele, there are ravages wolves. 
You see them wear tie. You see them jumping in the pulpit. You see them, to, when they talk to you, it's like Jesus Christ are talking. It's like you are with Jesus Christ. But nevertheless, Jesus knows that if you pay attention to his war, if you be careful in his war, you can know them. So Jesus cannot tell you, be careful of them, where he knows that you cannot know them. Jesus knows that if you decided that indeed you are for Jesus, you can know them. And so therefore Jesus said, be careful of them. Wash and know them. Now, the hypocrites, this is what Jesus Christ told us about them. And who is this? Is a man that you put your confidence in his. Because unbeliever cannot deceive you. A sinner cannot deceive you when you already know. But he is this person that you give your heart, that you give all things, that you follow him, like because you are following a man of God. But he is a man of Satan. Although he carry Bible, although he is the head of the church, although he be head of the Europe, Europe, Europe churches, he be the head of the American churches, he is the head of the African churches. All this thing is the head of all, but he is from Satan. Jesus said, beware of them. So therefore, the name of church cannot save you, that you are in the church and ignore the warning of our Lord Jesus Christ cannot save you. So what saves you is to keep the commandment, to do the will of the Father, to do that which Jesus Christ said is what saves you. So you can choose to not be deceived. Also, you can choose to continue to be deceiving. You can choose to continue to be deceived. Praise the Lord. But our prayer that after this, that you may not be deceived again. After this, that you may come to understand and refuse to be deceived. That is our prayers. That is what we seeking. That is what we desire of you. So therefore, he said, verse 16, he said, You shall know them by their word, by their fruit. Do men who gather the grease of the thorns of the pink trees in chestnuts, you shall know them by their fruit. No matter their eloquence of teaching, no matter the, the, the style of their teaching, if you wish to know them, you will know them. If you pay attention, pray to Jesus Christ to help you, Jesus will help you. He will open your eyes that understand will come. Even as he open my eyes, we are all moving like a blind and glooming until some visions are coming. Until God start exposing, expose, exposing all the hidden things. So, God is not a patch of God, but it is you when you will, when you desire, when you desire to follow the will of Jesus, when you desire that Jesus has speak, when you will start, when you will start, you know, obey the will of God more than the good thought of man. It is there you know that life has coming on you. It's by then you will see a great changing. It's by then you will know that you, uh, you, are, you are a prophet, you are a prophetess. Because the vision will start coming. The dream will start flowing. The inner understanding will come in unto you. So therefore, it is very important, very important that we keep the rule, especially the rule of our Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, this part one, we go to Mark, Mark, Mark chapter 7. Mark, Mark chapter 7, yeah, and we read verses 22 to 23. Mark chapter 7, 22 to 23 is where we are reading in Mark. Now, what did he say? He said, Thief, covetousness, wickedness, deceived, deceitful, lavish, evil eyes, blaspheming, pride, and foolishness. All these things, all these evil things come from whom? Within and defy a man. And defy a man. Is all these evil people, this is all what they are carrying. Because the evil tree can never be up the good tree. You see a man of God. Please follow his testimony. His testimony is very important is when he's unbeliever. 
is very, very important. Try to know it. That will make you. It doesn't mean that he, he, as an unbeliever, that somebody that's unbeliever, when he repents, he no repent. No. But you see, when you know the story of man you are following, is by then now, it will bring the attitude. It is a bit sometimes, he will use it now to wear. You will see somebody that is very, you tell that he be, when he was the world, he is very angry man. And it is easy to fight, easy to destroy, easy to do this, easy to kill. And now he give his life to Christ. And now he turned to be general overseer, as they can tell themselves. And now they turn to even be Jesus Christ, and as they owns evil, as some, some churches will tell you, some teachers, I, I get them in our church, they will tell you that you will not enter heaven. Why? Because he didn't follow what they say, they are evil they say. Them, for them, you need to respect the elder than respect the word of God. It's what they say. Now, these people turn the word of God upside down just to gain the people at. Now, this Jesus Christ tell us, he talking about hypocrite pastors, hypocrite prophet, the evil men, evil tree can never give up a good fruit. Neither the good fruit will give up an evil tree. So when you know their testimony from beginning, when there was in the war, you will find that there are jealous people, there are envy people, there and this. That will help you to get understand whether indeed there are the sheep or the devil. Because who have, have an angry spirit or easily can kill or easily keep enmity in the church, a find that person always quick to give somebody punishment without, without to look with because that ego still is inside him. A trying to press it down, but he can't, it's not something he will press down. Jesus said, The child of God comes from God, the side of Satan is from Satan. No matter what he is, the child of Satan remains the child of Satan. In any minute, he must return for where he is. These people have the teaching that can lead you to destruction. They will tell you, It's not necessary to build a house, it's not necessary to get this and get that. Indirectly, they will make you to know that it's not necessary, but it's good to bring it in the church. But it's not what the Bible tells you. But some people are falling because people didn't know the Bible. The Bible tells you even those that have been in captivity in the land of Babylon, the Bible commanded them to build a house and to plant and to give, their, to give the hand of marriage, their daughters and their sons to marriage. Bible commanded the word of God. Now, a man of God, which is a man of Satan, will now rise up and stand up and ask you, why should you go village build house? The house you are building is for the rat and the lizard. And the lady calls upon you without you to know. It has you that you can never sleep in that house, that you cannot sleep in that house past three days. The house, when you go thief, will draw you out, it costing you. Desire you do such evil. And you go to your back, his prayer you pray, that, that, that your eyes will be, you will continue to be blind, but to follow you what you say. And because of that, then we tell you that your uncle, you are sending money, using the money for shrine, for juju. You are more than self, your mother is a wish. But if you bring that money for church, it's okay. This is what you, you know them. Because they have the spirit of what? The greedy, the greedy spirit. So they have the, they have the spirit of reap where they did it so. Capture, get it by force. So they are forbidden because they cannot hold it by force. They will find a mechanism how to teach it until their word will hold you now by force. But when you return a search for the people, that is why you need to know their life past. 
you will find that those ones that say, those them that tell you, don't build house, don't do this, the house where you are building is for the rat and is for the lizard. Who will stay there? Is your uncle that will poison you tomorrow, will kill you tomorrow? Is the children you build a house? All this thing is make sure that the majority, the, the eight amount of money you are earning coming to their pocket. It's not because they love you to not die because your uncle will kill you. No. It's not that. But when you return now to find out, you find out that the man that tell you, he go to Lagos, he have a land that costs a million. He come for, for Onisha. In any state in Nigeria, he have land there. He have house. And when he will spot, he will he make you to understand that he was the one he had when he doing is a businessman. Now you know more businessman. But he have already uh, uh, wired and prepared and put everything in order for him and sell. So, it's a time that we will come out of darkness of ignorance. Ignorance, is, there is never a day ignorance is excused before God. That you let men deceive you, it's not because that man deceives you, it's because you choose to be deceived. You choose to be deceived because you want to be in the midst where there is a multitude, the means where where they will call you archer, they will call you choristers, they will call you workers. The means where you will you will be that you have some position, and that make you to know be diligently to know diligently seek and search what the Lord God say or what have written in the Bible. Because of that, you choose to obey man is indirectly to obey man. Rather than obey God. People that honor, 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 honor the altar, honor the things that fear the altar, more than the provi uh, provider of that. So you can imagine. So therefore, you to be deceived, not because you didn't know. It's because of also your own selfish interest. Because your own selfishness interest, you are deceiving. So if you didn't call it deceive. You nobody deceive you there because you know the truth. And then if you don't know the truth, today you have know the truth. So don't forget your grandmom in the village. Don't forget your mom in the village. Don't forget your uncle. Your uncle no clean you anything. Then they didn't kill you when you are in the village. When they didn't, they didn't kill you when you are suffering. Is now they want to kill you. Now immediately you enter church, your uncle, uncle, uncle and clean you. Your auntie and clean you. When you, are born, when you are not born again, they are not clean you. It's a time to have a common senses. It's a time to come to understand what the word of God has said. It's painful when you see people keep themselves under bondage in the name of serving God. But you know that where you are serving God, you go no heaven there. You know that you are not serving God right there. But because you want to maintain your own position. You know why? Because we are the king is evil king. People around him will be evil servants and evil, evil leaders. That is that. Because you are all, you are, your past didn't say true, there is no way spirit of truth will enter you. The spirit will enter you is only the spirit that will put in you in double opinion. Does this thing is serious? Does this thing is like that? Does this thing is like that? After we choose the wrong one. But however, Jesus Christ say. Be aware of the ravages wars. So it's up to you if you choose to come out of your blindness, come out of your cause, come out of your bondage. It's up to you. It can also choose to remain there. But one thing I want to assure you, if you remain there because you are thinking to go heaven, I will tell you that you are making great mistake. Why? Because... Jesus is the only word you can hold, not the word of man. He cannot go in against what he said. Jesus said, be careful. Search to know them. Be a, they are, by their fruit you shall know them. Man that will tell you we will buy share today, donate money to buy share. Example, you put donate money to buy share. And that share, one month pass, no share. Two months pass, no share. Three months pass, no cheer. What do you think about that man? One year pass, no cheer. He's a businessman. You, can, you need to come to understand. He's a businessman. 
Those money will go first to the business. The man will first find his interest if he potentially will buy the share. And when he will buy the share, he will buy half. He will come again and no, but people choose to not no, people choose to play to not understand. But you, you it, but I sometimes eh, I say that even ordinary English people say that eh, you can fool, fool some people, but you cannot always fool in some people. But some people will fool, choose to always be fooling. I can't understand. I can't understand to say true. But however, Jesus Christ say, beware of them. And I will pray for you if you are, if you indeed believe that is the word of God. I will pray for you. I will pray that your understanding will come in you. That awareness will come on you. That the God will one way or another expose these people until you say, yes, this is true. That is a prayer I will make for you. If you first of all believe the word of Jesus Christ. That Jesus Christ say that not all. He said that even the Satan have gone and also entered the church also. Any person that do business, the business didn't work out, immediately is a servant of God. Now, what do you think that greedy person can offer? Person that greedy, it doesn't matter the age. It doesn't matter the eloquence. It's in the blood. In dining minute, he will surely demonstrate that thing. All thing, he can never go straight forward. All the thing that is always way to cheating. And it's the only intelligent person we know that that person is cheating. It's always person that want to follow Jesus, we know. But I pray with you tonight that Almighty God, the God of heaven and earth, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, that have died for you and I, and he opened his eyes widely. Whoever will came in. Jesus is ready to save you. He's ready to bring you out of that calamity. He's ready to bring you out for the bondage. You are in the spiritual bondage, which you have to know. You are in the spiritual bondage. What you can say that you even achieve as you are follow, you need to you need to tell yourself true. Because they gave you with the cost day in and out. In daytime they pray for you in altars. But in the night when they are altar, they are praying that you will never see nothing good. So that you will keep come to keep needing for prayer. Keep needing for their cancer. Keep to coming to say that here is pain. This one is doing, this one is doing. Is the cost they are laying upon you? Ask yourself a question. Why did we make him well when he was in the world? Why did he think? Why did he think that suddenly turn to be so hard? It's because you are not equal to the tax. So there, the they're, they're more they more having ground than you. Then no. You cannot even fast in one, one week, but then can fast in even two months. They can fast more than even Jesus Christ. So far the tents are coming out of your pocket. So far they continue to hold you, hold you under their bondage. So far they continue to hold you captive. That is no problem for them. When they want to buy this, they will tell they want to buy. Their, their, their course will hold you. So therefore, there are many ways of 419. Each person have his some doing with their computer, some doing with their thought, their eloquence, some doing with the, what they teach. But all is 419. So therefore, now I want to pray for you. We will stop the first by this first, first year. So next time we continue. A message is up to three parts. Let's pray. Our Heavenly Father, Lord of all glory, I want to thank you, Lord. Lord, I want to lift up your name above the evil mind of men, above their evils, 
above the strategies that they use to cave people under bondage. Dependable Father, I say that He will give them fire. Fire that will make them to release those that hold, those that are under their case. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, I pray that this one, their eyes will open to come to know the truth so that they will run for their dear life. Then we know that the good thought of man is not the good saying of God. Open their inner eyes. Open their inner mind. In the name of Jesus Christ. Whatever power, whatever cause, whatever strategies they used to hold them bound, they used to capture their spirit, they used to capture their mind, in the name of Jesus Christ, I command such thing now fail. I command such thing now lose. I command such thing move. And say, let the people right now be free in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, our God, our Savior. Thank you because it is done. In Jesus' name, we pray and amen. We will once again to indeed to appreciate that you are listening and following. And we pray, if it is the first time that you are coming in contact with us, that you will turn up the button, subscribe and share. Give us turn up. God bless you. We remain who we are. The truth of matter, Jesus cares. My message, Jesus cares. No matter whatever. All I show you that Jesus cares. God bless you.